Happy Saturday morning. Welcome back to the microwave intro that you've come to be used to and maybe even come to love a little bit. Today's run, the mileage goes up a little bit. It's 21 kilometers. That's 0.1 kilometers away from a half marathon. So I'm going to do a half marathon. And with any luck today, this should be, without a doubt, my fastest ever half marathon. I looked up my, uh, my previous attempts of 21 Point one kilometers. The fastest one was two hours and three minutes. I think I'm on track for at least a one hour 45. I think. I think I did the math right. Anyway, I'm excited. It's warm. It's like 10, 11 degrees outside right now. I've, uh, I've opted for Angela's AirPods instead of my over ears. I've got my Sport Smith sunglasses on. I've got water. I've got water. Not just one water. Two waters. Not too thick of an outfit on because I did get too hot last time. New shorts. I even have... I'm even bringing nutrition. Today is going to be the destroyer of marathon pace efforts. Lost train of thought on that one. I have not ever in the history of running on this channel ever looked this sport. I'm gonna put some different shoes on. Five kilometers in, 25 minutes in, on pace. 10 kilometers, 49 minutes, 30 seconds. Ahead of pace. Fifteen kilometers, one hour, 15 minutes, and a couple seconds. Slowed down a little bit, still ahead of pace. 21.1 kilometers, one hour, 47 minutes, 23 seconds. Technically a little bit ahead of pace, but probably right where I want to be for the slowdown that happens when you go for 42.2. So before going out on this video's run, myself and Myself and the Purple STP went to go meet up with my buddy Devin. Not Devin who builds the dirt jumps, but the Devin that has my motorcycle in his possession, my Husqvarna Vitpillin 401. If you may recall, he is the one that is building the motorcycle bicycle rack that these will be hanging off the back of. And we just wanted to do a bit of a test fit, see where the bike sits, see if everything's lining up correctly, see if there's any adjustments or changes that we can make. And we did determine that the subframe could be a little bit stiffer, a little bit stronger, a little bit burlier. Uh, there was just a little bit of movement back and forth. That was like, eh. We should probably just make sure this is as stiff as possible for uh, any other bikes that are gonna be hanging off the back for any bumps that we might go over. It looks great with the bike on it, even though the Vit Pillin's kind of small. I don't find the bike off the back is too overpowering. I'm pretty friggin' excited about the first trip with this thing. It's gonna be sick. I wanna just like hit up a bunch of skate parks or dirt jumps, I don't know. I just am fantasizing about all the cool stuff I wanna do with it. But being around my motorbike in beautiful late March spring style weather has really got me into like motorbike mode. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scratch that itch a little bit with the e-moped. You know how I always take this thing to the spin dat pit and we're like hitting that jump stuff. That, that stuff has kind of been like deteriorating and eroding for like a long time. So I kind of wanna like, I wanna fix it and try some of it on the old e-moped.
I've been wanting to give that jump the refresh that it deserves since the first day that I ever brought the little e-moped out here. Because one, super fun. Two, this thing was just getting a little bit on the dangerous side and becoming kind of nothing. As you saw, it was eroded away almost completely on both sides. That's from the four wheelers coming up it and just eating away at the sides. And then it was so rutted in the middle from dirt bikes hitting it that it was actually just kind of becoming like a little bit unsafe. Carrie and I were hitting it with our bicycles one day in a video and the rut was just like, you had to sniper to get into it and uh, hopefully, you know, like catch a wheel or go over the bars or something because something happened. So this built back up on the sides will allow four wheelers to go off of it. The middle is built back up for dirt bikes and myself to be able to ride it. And uh, it's actually no taller than it was. It's the same height. It just, right now it looks a little bigger because well, there's a lot more dirt on it and it's new. Now, something that is new is a bit of a landing. There was never really one here before, but this is low enough, like anything could run into this, you'd be fine. It just makes the landing a lot less violent. It's a lot smoother, a lot less violent. Love that. There's also this little bump that's been here for ages. I can fix it up. Well, that's a little better, but my shovel did break, so I guess it's as good as it's gonna get. So, half finished or not, this should be more than a moderate improvement. Yeah, that's way better. See, this is what, you get so much speed here. I feel like there needs to be like a slow down rhythm part like that. There could be another one here and then this. Yeah. Up through here, clean that up a little bit. It's gonna be a good lap. All right, a few hours of work, a broken tool, and a hundred laps later, a job well done. Feeling pretty good about the progress we've made here at the Spin Dat Pit. Making sure everything is just mildly above up to snuff for hooning around on this thing. It is the best. I love this thing so much. I love it. And I just clocked over 500 kilometers on it. Can you believe that? Ooh.